Hello everybody, this is Cap here, and I would like to welcome you to the 30th video in my Beginner C++ tutorial series. And in this video, we are going to be talking about upcasting. So basically what upcasting allows us to do is use a derived class or object as if it were its base class. So you can do this by creating a base pointer to the derived object. So for instance, if you guys can remember, I have my vehicle uh, superclass, and then I have car and truck that inherit or derive from that class. So I can create a car object here, and then I can say, you know, vehicle and you can do this through reference or pointer. I usually prefer references, as most of you will probably already know. Say equals C. So this implicitly upcasts C so that I can use it as if it were a vehicle class. But if I access it through V, I only have access to the base class portion of the object. So for instance, if you guys watched my previous tutorial, if you actually remember I overrode forward in the car class. But if I say v dot forward save it and then run it. So you can see as you can see it says the vehicle moved forward, not the car moved forward. So you might be thinking, well, what's the use of this? Well, let's say we have, we'll put truck here too. And why not create an actual vehicle object as well? So let's create a function up here. And we'll pass in. A vehicle and we will say V dot forward we'll see this is great because now this function can take anything that is a vehicle and car and truck are vehicles so we can say you know funct C Funct T and Funct V, and it will not have a problem with any of those. But then again, it can only access the base portion. So, wouldn't it be great if we could have it also instead of just calling vehicles forward method? Wouldn't it be great if we could have it just call uh, cars forward method and trucks forward method as we sent it through here? That way we didn't have to worry about it. Well, that would be really nice, and you can do that. And that is the subject of our next tutorial, which is virtual uh, methods and functions. So if you guys like this video please let me know by hitting the like button. If you've seen a few of my videos and really like them, go ahead and subscribe so you can see when I post new ones. And I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.